Hi, this is Yashika and I'm doing a project about weathering, erosion and deposition. So the materials we need is a water gun. I'm representing it as a wind blower. A bucket of water, a tray, a stick, some rocks and some soil. So now I'm going to pour the soil in the tray. Okay, now we're going to make a slight downhill. The blank space of the tray represents the ocean. Now we're going to make a rib river bed. But in nature, river beds are formed by running water. You need to make it a curvy line. Now we're going to put rocks representing boulders. Okay, the riverbed is ready. Now we're going to take the wind blower and we're going to see if the wind does some erosion. Yeah. You can see the sand has moved. Let's try another way using a straw. See the weathering. Now let's try using water. The water represents rain and I'm gonna put it. The rocks have moved. Weathering, erosion, and deposition. There was weathering, erosion, and deposition in this project because weathering happened when I blew some wind onto the earth's outer surface. The earth's teeny particles came out. There was erosion in this project because when I poured the water, Slowly, it took teeny soil particles with it into the ocean. There was deposition in this project because when I poured the water super duper fast, it took rocks into the ocean along with soil particles. See? Like this, New islands will fall where the river bed meets the ocean.